the times are changing a little bit. Many of us barely pick up an actual book mm -hmm. anymore, preferring that convenience of a, maybe a tablet or a Kindle. Mm -hmm. The Omaha Public Library gets that, and they're offering modern day conveniences with some old school transportation. <laughs> We're talking about a book, book bike. bike. That's right. Here to show it off, Emily Geschman and Jason Gosen. Stop. Thanks for stopping by. Nice here to have it you is. Here. This is the big unveiling, right? This is, this cool. is it. Never this before is seen it. in Omaha. Yeah. 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 So what's the story with it? Well, you know, we've made more of an effort in the past several years to not just invite people into the libraries, but to get out to where they are. Mm -hmm. So this is our kind of environmentally friendly way to get out and repurpose that traditional bookmobile yeah. and put it on a bike. So how's it work? I mean, we've we got different well, compartments Mike, in the, here. Well, Mike has pedals and a couple of wheels. I'll let Jason Thank tell you, you about how this works. <laughs> he, he's one of the masterminds behind this. Yeah. So. I am actually in this bike here was built for us by Omaha Bicycle Company and it's got a little extra longer upper frame compared to a regular bike which is convenient for hauling yeah. and also has lots of storage and with the trailer here it's essentially a flatbed trailer yeah. with a manufactured uh, bookcase on top. You're not going up many hills with this thing loaded at uh, yeah. are you? I did on Friday. It did just you? goes a little slow. Your quads were burning a little bit, I bet. Yeah. Uh -huh. So where are you going to take this? Well, we're going to be out in the community when we're invited. We're going to be probably at some of the you know Dundee days and Miller days and mm -hmm. places where you would see our library yeah. anyway, but we're just going to go out to you. So mm -hmm. you'll see us out there on um, festivals, farmers markets, things like that. Do mm -hmm. you just pull a book off the shelf and read it there? Do you check it? You actually check it out like if you were at the yeah. library? How Absolutely. You can check it out. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do some events where we're just going to hand, hand out free books mm -hmm. and also we can check out um, live. Mm -hmm. tap into our library network and check out books live and also this uh, whole bike ha is a mobile hotspot itself oh, wow. so you can connect to your smartphone or tablet and download ebooks audiobooks oh, wow. and yeah. stuff like that yeah well, what wow. are some of the other bells and whistles on the bike i'm looking toward the front of it there what are some of those gadgets well safety was important for us so we we got a mirror on there and of course the lights um lights on both Do ends you have a, is that a bell yes it is a bell. Alert. Alert. <laughs> that's so cute Come that reminds me <laughs> I either want ice cream or a bicycle cart in the spokes. One yeah. of the two. Yeah, that's great. So, what kind of difference is this going to make, Emily? I know you don't do things just because they seem like a good idea. There's got to be an impact for you at the library. What's the goal on this? For us, it's outreach. We just want to see, be visible in the community, and most organizations will tell you that's always a challenge. Um, people who haven't been in the library for a really long time they're probably not going to come back in because they think it's just what they remember or they just never really knew about it. So if we can get out to be where they are mm -hmm. and kind of feature some of the amazing things, even if they don't want that traditional paperback book, mm -hmm. um, we can show them how to download something to their iPhone. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can show them some of the new features, which is always difficult to do when we have so many of them. Yeah, so you're not only providing a way for people to get books, you're also educating along the way. Absolutely. Um, if there's organizations out there, like you said, you're going to go to a lot of these events, yes. some of these summer festivals and whatnot. If there's organizations out there, how should they inquire about getting the bike at their event? We do have a page on our website, omahalibrary.org, and you can go there and just look up some information about the bike and kind of see what our schedule is if you want to come and check it out yourself. Otherwise, just give us a call. Just give us a call and invite us to your mm -hmm. event, and we'll try to do the best we can to get out there. What else is happening at the library that we ought to know about right now? Well, First week of August, where do we stand? Back to school. Back mm -hmm. to school. So we're very much um, kind of saying to people, your library card is one of your best school supplies, so mm -hmm. don't forget about all those things. It's not just the books, but we have so many online learning resources that people forget about, live tutors that you can connect with online mm -hmm. from the comfort of your own home. For a lot of kids, that's really helpful and for parents too. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Any other upcoming events as we're looking at your, your the homepage of your website, it says yeah. upcoming events. What do you have coming up? There are a lot of, like I said, back to school things. So open houses, they're inviting a lot of people in, especially homeschool families to kind of check out some of those resources. Um, we're just, we're kind of going to be gearing up Story for time, summer reading Story programs, time, crafts, to... kind of all the stuff that you expect. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be jumping into Omaha <clears throat> Reads next month. So we'll be back to talk to you more about that. Sounds good. Yeah. OmahaLibrary.org, that's the website you were just looking at. And we're speaking quickly about ice cream. I feel like if you could <laughs> somehow, as we're standing here, do something to add a, a row of sandwiches and cones mm -hmm. in here. You guys are getting too get used to having the, the food here. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels that no, way standing cannolis, on this side of it. Some cannolis on there. It'd make me don't real happy. Don't you feel like that? Yeah. How many miles have you logged so far? Have you gotten it? Well, you haven't, this hasn't been unveiled, but uh, you expect to log a few miles before the end of summer? Uh, I took about 50 miles on the bike itself, and then I did about 10 with the trailer um, filled with some books on Friday. Right. So it wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty fun. Have you been yeah. working out? You're trying to get ready uh, for this? Actually, I do mostly running, but I, I like the bike, too, so I kind of been just 
practice in and yeah. put yeah. it all together. When it's, it's your cool idea, bike. you're the one in charge. Yeah, yeah for <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of looks that way. We're going to find some great. other people that write it too. Well, so. Sure, sure. Hopefully yeah. it's mission accomplished on yeah. this. We get more kids interested in reading through Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you both for coming. Thanks Thank you. Yeah, great